okay so let us say we have two random variables x and y and their corresponding CTF is given by fx of x and fx of y now what we are interested in is a variable v is equal to minimum of x and y and what we want to find is the CDF of V in terms of the CDFs of X and Y. Also the joint CDF of X and Y is given by uh, small x should be. Okay. okay now let's proceed. So we have F V of v this is equal to probability v less than or equal to v which is equal to probability that minimum of x and y is less than v okay okay so which is equal to 1 minus probability that minimum of x and y is greater than v now this is a very standard procedure in which uh, if, if we have to find the minimum of two random variables if we had a maximum then we don't tamper with uh, uh, this uh, probabilities but if we have a minimum then we want a condition in which we can uh, uh, apply both the variables so you will see that if a minimum of x and y is greater than v so we can just write probability that x is greater than v and y is greater than v so then this guy can be written in this form now the question is what is this whole thing now in order to uh, get a bigger picture of this let's see if we have this is our y axis and this is our x axis so this is x and this is y and this is my v here and this is my v here and this is the point where x and y both are equal to v so now let's assume that this whole x y plane represents the all probabilities of x and y so this means that the area under all this x y plane is equal to what one okay so then this guy if we draw a line like this a line like this and this area here is just when x is greater than v and y is also greater than v what we are interested in is all the remaining area here okay so this remaining area can be okay, let's choose a different color here this remaining area can be decomposed into this part this part and this part I'm going to say that this area is A, this area is B, and this area is C. So this means, now, this means that my probability of V less than V is equal to the area of A plus area of B plus area of C which I can also write it as area of A plus B plus area of B plus C plus uh, not plus minus area of B now note that if I have a plus b then b plus c then I have taken b into consideration uh, two times so I have to take away one area b but what is area of a plus b so a plus b is all this area so this area is nothing but the probability that x is less than v so then I can say that this is equal to probability x less than v it doesn't matter if you use the equal sign or not 
usually <coughs> you can use it but since they are continuous variables so it doesn't matter what is the area of b plus c b plus c is this part b plus c is probability of y less than b so you can say that the and what is just b just b is this part this part is probability of x also less than v and y also less than v so we can say minus probability x less than v y less than v so this is just straightforward i can say fx of v plus fy of v minus fx y v comma v okay so this is actually the cdf of v in terms of the cdfs of x and y joint and marginal both so just a summarize if i if i have f of minimum of x y this is equal to fx of v plus fx oh, fy of v minus fxy v v where v is a minimum or we can say where v is equal to minimum of x comma y so if you if you want to memorize it it can you know cause uh, some uh, you know savings of time if you can if you can if you can just memorize this formula um i won't recommend memorizing but you can memorize if you want if you want to solve some questions and if you are in an exam or you can just uh, uh, if you want to find the cdf of a minimum of two random variables you can just apply this formula and you know save some steps um so this is about it for the minimum uh, of two random variables in terms of their cdf uh, hope hope it is understandable easily and hope you like the video thanks for watching